on this day, I see clearly everything has come to light in a pl but there, there is a music video when I was a kid that like had Attack of the Clones footage, and every time I see a gunship, I think of that song. I know it's very edgy, <laughs> but yeah, um, it's just a, a correlation I always make. This is another clone corner on another one of these Transformers crossovers. Yeah, and this is the Clone Trooper pilot as LAAT gunship, and uh, it's interesting. It's not the the best. Uh, it's not the worst. I think the worst is still Commander Cody. Uh, the Commander Cody's awful. Uh, but this isn't bad. Uh, it's not It's not great. But I don't regret buying it. Let's just put it that way. Let me tell you, amazing gunship mode, just off the bat. Uh, but I just want to show this. I always like these. Hey, look, it's a gunship. And then, oh, look, it's the robot. Gunship robot. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so yes, this is a gunship. How big is it? Here is a clone pilot to compare. It's kind of not that large. It's pretty small. It's a pretty small gunship. Uh, but you do get a little clone pilot figure with it, especially if you buy the original uh, 2007 version like I did. Whoops, that canopy just came off, but that's okay. Make sure you get it with the canopy on, guys. Don't get it incomplete. There we go. There's a little cockpit on the inside. Just showing you there. Getting that out of the way. And here's our little clone pilot boy. I really do like these little guys. Look, he's so tiny. He's so tiny, yet he's so uh, decently painted. Even though his visor is literally just a triangle. It's not even a T. They didn't even try to make it a T. It is just a triangle. There's a little comparison with the full-sized one and the little one. You can even see they approximated the little Republic symbols. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Yeah, this guy, uh, he can go in the cockpit. He's obviously too large to actually be in scale with the gunship. Even even at this scale, he's actually still too large. A trooper should be able to fit in the little bubble there. And there should be two troopers in there. And there should be, like... He's, he's like, twice as large as he should be, honestly. But that's okay. Uh, and he actually can interact with the gunship in another way. Easiest way to do this is to lift these up. Put this down. And then he just kind of partially transformed, if that's okay. You just kind of squeeze him, that little base... You have these little slots, you can try to get him in. There we go. And then retransform him without spoiling the fun. And then get him back on there. And there we go. On this day, he sees clearly, man. Look at that. Everything's come to light. I actually do like the look of that. I like to get like other guys and just have them all in there. Um, but I don't have too many uh, Star Wars Transformers crossovers, and after a while, they stopped including the little figures. So that's a disappointment. Yeah, let's get him out of there, because you can't really transform him with him there. And, uh, as you can see, these can go up if you want them to, so that's nice. He does actually have the angle to the gunship, which I appreciate. The gunship's nice. It's it's honestly, I'm, I'm tempted to display him in the gunship mode, just because I don't have a normal Republic gunship toy. This is my, this is actually my first normal Republic gunship toy. I'm not even joking. I don't have a Lego one. I will buy a Lego one as soon as they re-release another one. Um, I love how they've made like three ATAPs in the past like five years, and we haven't gotten a gunship since like 2013. Um, and I, my full-sized figure one is the Ark gunship, which of course, I mean, if I only have one gunship, that's one I want it to be. It's the Tartakovsky gunship. But yeah, um, I'm happy to have a normal Attack of the Clones gunship in my collection. Ah, sippy time. But yeah, uh, the the features on this gunship, you can shoot the missiles, and they actually, uh, uh, I get so tensed up before I shoot a missile. Like, I get really tensed up. Uh, so, you can shoot the missiles, uh, you can actually spin the little turrets in the wings, which I appreciate. I think guys are supposed to go in those too, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. Do people go in those? Do clone troopers actually go in those? I don't know. I know clone troopers go in these little pod balls, which, uh... They're actually on a ball joint and a hinge, so you can get a lot of range out of those. These are on ball joints in the front, those little turrets. And then uh, this is just a static little turret back there. But yeah, the details are really good. Look at that. You get all the kind of missiles that can go into place. Nice little paint there. I like the differentiation of the tones, too, on the wing. And just all throughout, the little uh, colors and the little greens and reds. It looks really good. It's such a good gunship. 
Now let's make it into a robot. <laughs> so, uh, how to transform him. You do, oh, he just kind of starts falling apart. You take these off, those will be the guns. You take this whole panel and just kind of fold that in the back. There you go. It just kind of folds and stays there. I hate that these Transformers crossovers, they just, they don't know what to do for the legs, so they just, like, fold out. And they're so puny. Nine times out of ten, the legs are really puny and stickly and weird, and uh, this is no exception. <laughs> they look very spindly. Um, and then, pretty much the last bit, is you take these parts, those will be the arms, fold those out. I actually like how that's actually a part of the gunship. The arms actually form from a part of the gunship, guys. Isn't that crazy? Uh, it's sad that these Star Wars crossovers, we celebrate that the robot actually comes from the vehicle. Here, I need to actually adjust the camera here. And then this just folds down, reveals his beautiful head. That just folds to the back. Then you just slide it in. And uh, there we go. There we go, guys. We did it. We did it, guys. We did it, Reddit. Whoa. Who actually uses Reddit? I feel sorry for you if you use Reddit. Like, what are you doing with your life? Get off of there and actually do something productive. Anyways, yeah. That was a joke, by the way. I don't care what you do. Uh, this is what we end up with. This is our clone gunship pilot robot. Um, <laughs> very oddly proportioned. Very weird looking boy. Very weird looking. And if you need a reminder of what a normal human being looks like, here is the action figure. Yeah, um, <laughs> very, like from the waist up, he actually looks kinda, he looks, he looks, he still looks skinny as shit. But he actually doesn't look too bad. But those legs, man. Oh my gosh, those legs. What'd they do, man? <laughs> He's got these spindly, tiny little legs, and he's got some hints of white. I don't know why they don't have any white on the arms there at all, but he has some hints of white on the legs to just be like, hey, he's still a clone. So the only new details you're really seeing here are these legs. You're getting those legs. You're getting the head sculpt, which we'll show off in a minute. Then the hands with the little black fingers. He still has the turrets on the arm, which I actually think is kind of cool. I wish these arm mounted. He would honestly look a thousand times better. I'm not even joking. A thousand times better. If he could put the guns on the arms like a freaking Seeker. Oh my gosh, that'd be great. Like Null Rays. What's a Null Ray? Oh, I'm sorry. You don't know Transformers. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, interesting. Let's look at that head. It's actually not a bad sculpt on the helmet. It has like this weird inner detail on the little cheek areas. Um, I mean, it's a clone trooper pilot. Looks the part. He has the tubes. That looks nice. He's got the tubes kind of running down onto the little control box that's entirely unpainted. But it's still white, so that's nice. So, uh, yeah. Here's this. Um, so, back-wise, he has these the, this horde of panels. Just tons of panels. Pretty much the entire gunship, besides the uh, the cockpit, is on his back. Uh, but it's not too bad. That's why the turrets kind of folded in like that, because that's how that goes. And that kind of... It doesn't tab in at all. That's a cardinal sin. It, like, it just doesn't tab in, so it'll just go. And they never gave the... Like, look at how deep the hand goes, right? And look at the handle. There's just nothing there. There's nothing there. Uh, anyways, let's articulate him. So his head, first time I'm even moving it, is on a swivel. So you can swivel the head, which is appreciated, I guess. Um, the arms. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So the arms, they fall apart, per usual. I don't even know if they move forward, man. Um, I can't say I've messed with the robot mode too much on this guy. I don't think his arms move forward. No. No. Oh my gosh, that is actually awful. See, I know forward... Oh, jeez. This is one of those things where it's like, hey, it's you pull down the thing to transform him, but at the same time, if you pull too hard, the arm's going to pop off. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So you can't move the shoulder forward at all, but you can like move the arms like that. So there's that. The big old guns that always fall out, you have those. 
The wrists can kind of hinge a little bit if you want them to, but why would you? Nothing at the waist because, like, what's going on? His legs can move forward and back. I mean, they're just pure legs. There's no actual transformation to them. They just fold up, so they actually have a lot of articulation. You have a full bend because they fold up. You have a nice uh, rocker forward and back. Um, no pivot, but you do have a little bit of a toe there. Not a toe, a heel. So leg-wise, you can get some good motion because, I mean, his legs are just folded up. Arm-wise, you can't even move the shoulders forward, so there's that. You can definitely tell whoever designs these did not design normal Transformers. But yeah, uh, this is another one, guys. This is another Transformers crossover clone trooper that is uh, in my life now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get all of these. Uh, my main clone trooper collecting goal is to have every three and a quarter inch figure ever. And currently every Black Series figure ever. Because, I mean, I, I can just get those as they're coming out. But, yeah, um... I don't know if I want to go in on these Star Wars clone Transformers, because some of them are extremely rare and expensive. It's like, who collects these? Who freaking collects these? Who? Who buys these? I only buy them because it's like, they're my, it's two of my favorite franchises, right? It's Transformers and it's Star Wars combined into one. And the toys are like kind of shit. But at the same time, I can't help myself. I just, I buy them if I see it and I like it. <sighs> I really want the Magna Guard one because I think that looks really good. Um, I don't know what others I might want, um, but I just buy these as I go. I'm never going to seek these out. I don't think, I don't think that's a good idea. It's not a good idea to seek these out. Just, just buy them if you see it for like a decent price. This thing cost me 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Um, I like it though. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm kind of bashing it, but at the same time, I actually really do like this thing. Um, because it definitely, like, shows an era in Star Wars toy collecting. Where Hasbro was really, like, doing interesting things. And this is very interesting. I can never see Hasbro even attempting anything like this ever again. This may be one of the first crossovers, though, where I actually display it in the uh, vehicle mode. Because, I mean, the robot modes... A thing but at the same time the the vehicle mode is just so good oh well that just popped off another warning I guess if you're buying this thing secondhand make sure all the panels are there because as you just saw they can pop off uh, I would never buy one of these loose unless you know exactly every single piece you need to look out for I would I would try to get them in the package because you could be missing pieces and you just get it in the mail and you'd be like, oh, he doesn't have an entire piece to his body. That's great. But look at this gunship. That's really nice. That's a really nice gunship. I mean, that's a really good toy of a gunship. I really like it. Uh, it just so happens to turn into a really freaky robot. So, <laughs> yeah, guys, there we go. There is my review of the Transformers crossovers. Uh, clone Trooper Gunship. I hope you enjoyed taking a look, because this is a very interesting thing. Um, on this day, I see clearly, and I see that this is a weird toy, but I also like it. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links, PO Box address, all that. <sighs> I've been filming a lot of videos today, and my throat's starting to get sore. I want to film, like, one or two more.